we now have two presidents simultaneously under DOJ investigation. What a strange situation. How are voters handling it? An astounding 77% of voters approve of Attorney General Merrick Garland having named a special counsel to investigate how classified documents from the Obama administration ended up at Joe Biden's home in Delaware and his private offices at a DC think tank. 49% of voters strongly approve and only 6% of voters strongly disapprove. Why so high? Keep in mind, Merrick Garland has horrifyingly low approval numbers, especially among Republicans. Perhaps it's because voters are particularly sensitized to classified document scandals. And also recall, even before this August's Mar-a-Lago raid, we had Hillary Clinton's email gate, something the Department of Justice also had a hand in. Here are the party numbers. Almost complete bipartisan support here, though Republicans are 13 points more likely to strongly approve than Democrats. Surprisingly, just as many Republicans disapprove as Democrats. Why? Well, maybe some of them are pro-Biden. There are actually some pro-Biden Republicans, and maybe they just have no trust in the DOJ. The highest total approval numbers are actually among independents. But here are the numbers by Biden approval. This defies all explanation. Because I think for the very first time, those who strongly approve of Biden and those who strongly disapprove of Biden actually agree on this special counsel. Why? Do they think Biden has nothing to hide? Or do they think the DOJ won't find anything? Post your theories. Let me take a moment to thank you for watching our channel. It's been fun making these videos and we're coming up on number 100 soon. If there's anything we haven't covered that you wanna see or questions you want me to answer for maybe video 100, drop them in the comments. Also, if you've watched our videos and like them, please let today be the day you subscribe to our channel. It costs you nothing, but it really helps us get the word out to more people to fight deceitful mainstream narratives. How likely is it that, since he became president, Joe Biden has committed high crimes and misdemeanors that would justify impeachment proceedings against him? 51% of voters say likely, including 34% who say very likely. 43% say not likely, and only 27% say not at all likely. Now, astute followers of ours will know that this isn't the first time that we've asked this question. While today's results are two points higher than they were back in November, though the number of people who say it's not likely is up a point also. But again, a majority of voters now say for the first time that it's at least somewhat likely that the sitting president has committed impeachable high crimes and misdemeanors in office. Here's party. Now, nearly three quarters of Republicans say it's likely, 72%, and 55% say very likely. That's five points more very likely, but two points less overall likely from last time. 47% of independents also say likely, and that's down from 50% last time. Uh-oh, if Republicans and independents are down, that means Democrats are up. And 34% of Democrats now say it's likely that Biden committed impeachable offenses in office, up from 27% last time. And 20% now say very likely, up from 13% last time. Former President Trump is also being investigated for keeping classified documents at his Florida home. Does the investigation of Biden make it more likely or less likely that Trump will face criminal charges for keeping classified documents? 19% of voters say more likely and 32% say less likely. 40% say it will not make much difference. Democrats are the only demographic among which more likely beats less likely. And then it's only 28% of 24%. So if you personally think that the get Trump motive is at play here in how many people support this Biden investigation, then public opinion disagrees with you. Thanks for watching.